How's it going, Chubb and Ops? My name is Obug Team and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Fallout 4 in 2021. I've just recently got back into this game. Uh, I recently played through all of New Vegas for the first time and had an absolute blast. And I remember that this game came out and I played it when it came out and it was great. I mean, I mean, yes, it was great. Okay, but there was there was numerous problems. Okay, um, and so I just recently got through all the achievements for it and I've downloaded a bunch of mods. I'd say a bunch of mods, it's actually very few, like, when I, most people, when they say a bunch of mods, they mean, like, 200, no, we were at about, we were about 20-ish, um, and the reason why is I've, I'd keep, tried to keep it low-key, and I've actually found some insanely good mods, that honestly, they just, I'm just amazed that these weren't in the game to begin with, honestly, they're just that much of an improvement. Now, the first thing, some of you might already be able to tell, we're in Sanctuary, right? Look at this junk fence. This is what we were, we were trying to make in the old settlement builder, okay? But this isn't actually possible because of, for example, these ties. You'll see it actually clips in. But you, you can't even tell. You can't even tell. That's the, this, that's the beauty of this. It clips, and it's awful to stick together these really cool-looking assets. Like, the junk fences, they're brilliant models. Especially because they merge perfectly with the bastions, which actually provide a defense bonus if you assign someone to it. But, like, you can't merge them together. And so all we've done here was we, I've literally utilized the Place Anywhere mod, which literally gets rid of those stupid red things. So, for example, if I was to, say, get, I don't know, like a, get a concrete wall, I can place it in this stairs. I can literally place it anywhere. So I can make it go all the way up here and make it do a clip through the roof. I can put it there if I really wanted to. See? And before... And before like, that's obviously in there to stop, you know, things looking weird. But the reality is, if the player is not going to deliberately go out of their way to make something look awful, and oftentimes the it's too sensitive, the block. For example, you'll place something and it's, it's clearly enough space for it and it just won't allow it. So the Place Anyway mod actually allows you to use junk fences and make them look nice. <laughs> like I said, that's technically clipping, but you can't even tell, can you? It just, it's seamless. It's great. Um, yeah. It's just, it's a, that's a brilliant mod. That's officially the first one we want to talk about straight away. Another one which we may see later, we've got uh, True Storms at the moment. But currently, obviously, it's daytime. And True Storms, it's been pretty fun. It's a pretty funky mod. Very good weather mod. Do recommend that one. And this is trash. I mean, the mod, this is trash. These textures are looking a bit, a bit funky, but we'll come back to the texture mod soon enough. This is trash is why this area looks so clean. There's... No, none of this crap little junk that used to just pile up everywhere. You can, I can also delete this entire building if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. And, yeah, you've got, like, these bits here, but that's just dirt. That's just part of the world. You can't really do much about it. But it cleans the entire settlement for you. It's, a, I think, a much better example of where this is very apparent is the Red Rocket truck stop. Let's have a look at this. Right. We're out of the red rocket, and this is the most apparent. Look at this. There's actually a floor. Like, I haven't cleaned out this area here, like the other scrap of items, but it's gotten rid of all the dirt and all the disgusting piles that used to just get in the way. Like, there's actually a floor here. Like, there's no... <laughs> I, it's very nice, and it cleans out the entirety of all those, like, little bits. There's just... I don't know why they were put there, I suppose, for atmosphere, that you'll find in the regular world, and it, just, it cleans out for the entire area of the settlement. So now it's nice and flat, and you can build... Well, a lot a lot, um, a lot straighter, a lot flatter, because there's, there's no random bumps in the floor anymore. So that is a great mod that I do recommend as well. And we're going to be doing some playthroughs. Now, as you see, we're actually at the start of the game, right? And we're going to be uh, showing off one of the um, two main mods that I've found that sort of overhaul the basic version of the game and those are brutality and the deadly commonwealth expansion honestly the the <laughs> the brutality one is more of a difficulty change uh think of brutal difficulty from shadow of war uh where you deal more damage and you take more that's pretty much the basis that's how it uh, works in the survival difficulty however i find survival to be a bit too restrictive and boring because it disables things like fast travel, and then if I was going to mod in and remove those restrictions, then <laughs> what, I'd just be adding, I'd have to drink and eat a little bit, so it wasn't too interested in that. And um, 
it effectively removes bullet sponges from the game. Creatures and stuff, like the Yalgawai and Deathclaws, yeah, they'll still take some guns to shoot down, but if you shoot a guy in the head, right, they will die. That's that's the long and short of it. Oh, we got a new settler. With a, uh... This is part of the um, expansion. Um, the Deadly Commonwealth expansion. It, I, these are... Text, like these are outfits and stuff that you can find in the game, and it just gives them to things. If I can find, if we we'll call together our settlers, we found some amazing things. And this expansion adds so many new enemies to the game for the enemy factions. Um, and that's the super mutants. Is literally everyone, and it adds in new new enemy types. For example, there is like a raider cannibal and a raider sniper, and they have their own um, leveled list and everything. It's 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 brilliant, right? Um, so you where's we found Marcy. So the, he's got some armor to come. There's um, there's another bit of armor, and it's called the Raider Cannibal Armor. And it's just a perfect example of where you take something that's already in the game and just turn it into something new. And it, it looks seamless. You just went, here it is, here it is, here it is. Look at this. It's quite literally just the, the actual metal parts of the cage armor. But it's applied as um, like an overall on top of whatever clothes you're wearing underneath. But like that looks like an almost completely different piece of armor, doesn't it? Like I didn't even realize until I turned around and looked at the chains. I was like, hang on, wait, that's actually, it's literally, but it just it gives so much variety. It, it's it's brilliant. Um, that's the only way to put it. It's brilliant. And um, the new um, enemy types as well. They they obviously have their own weapons. Example, for example, the. Uh, the Raider Sniper will carry a sniper rifle and all that other sort of stuff. It's it's brilliant. And we're going to go down to Diamond City to see if we can find new stuff. All of the default areas in the game have had all of their enemies redone. So if you go into Concord now, you'll find new Raiders. If you go to, for example, where we're going now, the USS Riptide, you will find uh, an attack dog now. And two new of the enemy types. We've got the... Um, it was like, oh god, it's like the, I think it was the Demolitionist, and he was carrying a super sludge. It was, uh, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really good. It's giving me a lot of replay value. Like, when you play through the game loads and loads of times, you come through these areas, and it's the same enemies. You know exactly where they're going to be. But this, it's almost like you're exploring these areas again for the first time, because there's, new, not only are there new enemy types you've never seen before, but there's just more enemies as well. And it's, um, <laughs> It's great, like, um, oh, I wonder if we can, oh, actually, wait, the body might be still be here, if we can find it. See, look, here we go, here, here we go, this is, a, this is an example of the Raider Cannibal. Oh, yeah, I had to drop a, bunch, drop a bunch of shit, but, um, Raider Cannibal. There's also a bunch of new, um, ghouls as well, which, uh, we can find, so there's, so these are all typical, but it's integrated in. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a Raider Thug over there. We've actually got to be careful, because if he gets us in the head, it might actually hurt. Oh, dog meat's going in for the stun. Where's he gone? But look at that, that's a Raider Thug. Those headshots do damage. And as you see here, he is wearing the traveling leather coat. This is in the game, but Raiders don't usually spawn with this. Oh, another Raider Thug. It just... I'm fairly certain he just appeared out of nowhere. That's a bit spooky. Oh, where's his head? Give me that one. Um, yeah, anyway, so let's see if we, oh, here's the Raider Boomer. This is like the Super Mutant Suicider. Oh, here it is, the Juggernaut. Oh, I just took his helmet, accidentally. Is that a new type of helmet? Let's have a look. Uh, no, I don't think this is new. No, that's not new. For, for a second, I thought it was a metal type thing. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, we'll throw the gas mask back on as well. Very cool. Um, yeah, it's just great. We're gonna go... I'm gonna try and get the intelligence bobblehead so we can go have a look at some of the new super mutant types. Um, and not only does this affect ghouls, raiders, and super mutants, it also affects uh, children of Atom, I think, as well. They're actually a lot more present. There's a lot more um, in-world miscellaneous events now, like random occurrences where you'll just find factions fighting, and it happens a lot more frequently. Like, usually in the base game, you'll find maybe the Brotherhood of Steel with their vertebrates fighting someone, and that's about it. Um, one thing you may notice as well is that the game looks very much... 
much sharper now as well. And that is because we're running this texture. It's an all-in-one 2K textures. I think I might have scaled up a bit too far for my rig. I think I might have to go back up. Oh god. Um, might have to scale it down uh, to 1K textures just to get a bit more performance out of it. But um, it is very good. Right, okay. Here's some super mutants over here. I wonder if we can find some new types. Now he's a basic super mutant. Yeah, yeah. There's the hound. Now super mutants will be more resistant because they have uh, lots of... Uh, they will have a lot more health, but the headshots are still going to be doing lots of damage. See? Like the body shots, arm shots, they barely do anything. The headshots, they are lethal. So it just... Um, it's the same thing, if the AI gets you in the head, you are dead, so poking out of cover as well is a lot harder. But it just rewards a greater level of precision at a higher speed. Since the time to kill on both sides is a lot lower. Which is what I like. Oh, we've got another fight somewhere. We're going to ignore it though, we're going to go into the Boston Public Library. Oh yeah, we could do this. Oh no, the body. No, I needed stuff. Oh no, are we gonna have to fight the um No. Oh there's raiders in here now as well. Oh yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to fight the um the robots as well, which is not fun. A raid of badass. I don't believe that's a. Uh, I don't even know. What I was gonna say a vanilla character. Let's go for. Go for as well. Hit him with a big yeet. Hello. Oh, I missed. Well, that was sad. Uh oh, he's still alive. Oh, he's got some interesting leg armor there. Oh, he's got. He's using his stim pack. Stim pack. That's why. Shit, shit, ow, he's got incendiary, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, ow, I keep forgetting to do the critical hit, that's bro. Stop shooting my boy. There we go, fucking hell. <sighs> nice. Oh, he also had an assault rifle, that's interesting. And we've got some heavy gear now. Yes. Alright, let's get in here and grab the bottle lid. Oh, super using collector. That's a new enemy. Oh god, what the fuck's that? Feeble. Oh, right, okay. So he was a much weaker enemy there. Have a grenade. Oh, that's the super mutant collector. Oh, that's a strong boy. That is a strong boy. Oh well, nothing a few grenades can't fix. I love the traces on the old, on the incendiary weapons, they're great. Oh my god, look at this! We can now um No wait, we can wait, wait, wait. We can't wear that, can we? No. We shouldn't be able to. Let's take the arm guards just to see. I don't think those are new. But now this means we can loot the weapon that we can uh, loot the armor, sorry, that we can give to Strong. Yeah, we can. Wow, brilliant. So now we don't have to go everywhere on the map to go get super mutant armor. We can just get it off um, actual super mutants, which makes a lot of sense, you know. <laughs> That's great. And I wonder if they've added any more gangster types because we know there's the typical triggerman, but I wonder if there's anything else we can get. Oh, there's a suicider. Not anymore. Unlucky for him. Oh, here's Swan's Pond. I wonder if we can take down Swan with the, uh, the incendiary machine gun. We'll go over there. Skirmisher. Oh, God, that grenade will kill me. Just find me if I did that. Also, one thing the um, that Brutal does change is it makes the it actually changes the AI. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, we're dead. We are actually fucked, I think. We'll go for a quantum and maybe a psycho buff. Oh my god. 
Oh, that minigun is nasty. Look at those headshots, though. Um, but it also adjusts the AI, so they'll rush you out of cover. They're a lot more aggressive. Oh, yeah, I'll take all of that. Thank you. But look at that. See, we've kind of been steamrolling through these kids, but um, we literally got absolutely lit up there. Thankfully, though, we can just take drugs and all our problems go away. Just like real real life. Oh, God, what's that? A Raider Specialist, did that say? Oh, Sadist. Interesting. I wonder what's unique about this guy. Uh, shoot him in the legs. Give me a leg. Foo. Have a grenade, fucker. That's what you get for running away. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, we'll go for the headshots. Oh, no, we can't. There we go. Oh, dog meat's just been fucking wrecked. What's going on here? Oh, we've got some raiders! Oh god, they've got laser weapons. Uh oh. Do we have frag mines? Oh, this is not gonna go. No, 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 no. Fuck the. The melee guy is coming straight at us. Oh, this is the boomer. This one's gonna explode on death. God, we're getting murdered by a marauder. Let's go this way. Hit him with a flex, flex tape maneuver. Nothing gonna fix your face when it's gone. Uh oh. I forgot I was um. Well, destroyed. Um, let's have a look. Do we have anything we can eat? Crispy squirrel bits. We like that. Uh, we could do a bit. No, we don't need buff out actually. We'll make do. I think. We need a stim pack as well. Do we need the jet? I don't think we need the jet. I can take. I can. I think we can get this. Oh yeah, we did. We crippled this guy's leg. So peek for him. The super mutants. Are, oh, we're getting a pincer attack with the super mutants. Good. Okay, they'll fight each other. Oh, he stopped shooting my dog, fam. Unlucky. Eat this. I want to see what the the uh, marauder had on him. Let's have a look. Raider marauder armor. Oh, this is a similar thing to the cage armor, is it? Like the cannibal armor. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, we can get another. We can get some laser weapons. That's true. I forgot I have a laser weapon. We now have two of those bad boys. Let's go. Oh god, a raider sadist with a machete. He's coming at us. He's coming at us. Nice, we got him. Oh look, he's wearing some um robes. He's wearing. Oh look, see, look. It's just it's just uh, an altered version of the um. Oh, I don't even know what they're called. Children of Atom. That's what I mean. It's repurposing vanilla assets. In a way, like, look! That looks cool. That's, that is... Why don't more raiders look like that? It's so simple. Oh, who's that? These look like basic... I don't don't think there might be any new triggermen added. Sure. We'll just spam shots into him. Bethesda AI coming in clutch right now. Oh, give him credit. He was, he was looking. He was looking on the cover. It's, you know, the wrong way. <laughs> he was like, hmm, what's going on over here? Oh, well, eat that. Oh, it's this bit. Oh, one of my favorite things to do at this bit is just to send Strong to go up there and slap him. But uh, we've only got dog meat, and dog meat is a glorified pack mule. We'll see. Can you can you do it, dog meat? Can you? Uh... Oh, you you can inspect Dino for me. Uh, oh well. 
I don't know. Well, thanks. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out, anyway, you got trouble? I think I'll probably have to go into greater detail on um, the alternate start mod for the, uh, for this game um, because it it actually completely changes the story in a really meaningful way. You're not forced to stick to the narrative that Bethesda sets up. You're not forced to be going to look for your son. You can actually be completely unrelated, and it makes voice lines by stitching together words from other ones. It's brilliant how it does it. So it actually still makes a cohesive narrative. Oh. It's great what it does to characters like Codsworth, where it does a really, really good job of making it look like Codsworth is just a faulty machine. Um, so obviously in the base game, he, he is supposed to know you, but in this, it does a really good job of com like making it out that... Um, He's actually he he's just assuming that you're his owner. Well, actually, he's like he's going he's going a bit a bit nutty, and he just and he's a lonely lonely robot. Pop. Oh yeah, we love it when the eyeballs fall out. That's 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 when you know it's a good kill cam. Oh look, the AI is look it's coming down. It knows it's going straight for it. Oh, that was nice. I like that. No obnoxious snow mo just bang, he's dead. It's over, Bucko. Let's see. Oh, oh the AI's the AI is pushing out of that cover. Oh yes. It's just beautiful. And everyone knows how you need to resolve this. With a frag of mine. Guys, do you have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here. Uh, we'll, uh, that's not, uh, we might get hit by that mine. Oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> uh, thank you for the formal hat and the tuxedo. Oh, sorry, dog me. Oh, where's, oh my god, where's the other goon? Where has he gone? Oh, jeez. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. It's, uh, Hopefully, um, I'm going to leave the links down to the mods down below, so you guys uh, have access to those. You know, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this as much as I have. It's been good fun, I think. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to say. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.